Welcome back to another uh, video. We've got another uh, experimental deck, sort of ish. Mm, yeah. Slight, slight derivation of um, decently, but not great archetype. Also, surprisingly unpopular. Surprisingly unpopular, yeah. Um, in the early days of this expansion, this hasn't exactly been as strong as people. Some people expected it to be, and uh, also not as popular. Like, Although, like according to issues we play, it has a forty-eight point something percent win rate. Mm -hmm. Uh, globally the archetype but every individual deck that they showcase which to be qualified has to have a certain amount of games yeah. actually has over 52 percent yeah so uh, this one is a slight derivation of um one of the more popular ideas yeah that uh we're gonna we're gonna say that um we put one spell banner instead of the ca second counter spell <laughs> because jd doesn't have a second counter spell you should not play spell banner in this deck <laughs> Um, I like spellbender. Also, Flame Ward is not necessarily as good as you th you you might think that it is in this specific deck because it's an aggressive deck. Yeah, this and, is too um, aggressive for that. Yeah. If it hit face, we would probably run it. Yeah, but we, we want to play the double counter spell, double mirror entity for sure. Uh, you can even play double splitting image in favor of stuff like Flame Ward, Spellbender. Th those are not as good for uh, yeah for what trying to also uh, Luna. And subject and Leroy pretty much all are according to what we've seen in lists optional. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't hate any of them. So Honestly, we're trying them all. Leroy is probably the weakest for this deck, I would think. Something that you can you can put also as life drinker. Uh, generally stuff that just go yeah. some that goes into this. So if you if you have uh, some that you, maybe some you don't have, you play after we also would mask contender, mask which contender is necessarily necessary. unpopular choice as well. Uh, yeah, I mean the variety of secrets isn't necessarily that big. Yeah, but also, Mage Secrets are arguably the ones that are most worthwhile, so we played it in the Hunter yesterday, yeah. and uh, there we only got two mana secrets, now we got three mana secrets. But you're supposed to, generally you're supposed to run no more than two or three different types of secrets in this in this deck, So which makes both Contender as well as Subject 9 a little bit worse uh, than in a more, like the, the Secret Hunter that we played, we also altered it, but we're supposed to play individual secrets, yeah. which makes Highlander so good. And um, that that pulls the full full amount of strength out of subject nine. This one does not, but we're gonna see how it does anyway, and hopefully get some uh, get some stuff done with this. All right, secret pre secret keeper is definitely always best best um, yeah. keep for one. Obviously, it's gonna. Be Shaman, I have. assume is gonna be quest. Could easily be quest. Could think, also be Murlocs in theory. I think, don't think we keep anything. Do we keep Luna? I don't think we keep anything. Mm. I like Sun Reaver. The problem in this deck is that. You can't play Secret Before Sun yep. that easily. Um, it's the wrong way around. With with Hunter, yeah. you got Secret into Hyena. In this case, it's just... I think in this case, um, bad, that, bad probably time. the reason why Ancient Mysteries is so good as well, because yeah. it allows you to play the Secret Return early. Yeah. Uh, I happen to only have one of them. Coin Mystery Secret? In which case, we should have totally kept no. the Sun Reaver. No, I don't think so. Pass. Not not a decent, not that much of a good follow up on two anyway. We'll play it on two. Like right, we have the um, yeah the quest charm as expected. It. Yeah. No, I did not want a hero power that. <laughs> okay, would have uh, probably been reasonable to actually do. Yeah. Not necessarily the worst play. Now the question is, what do we exactly want to be hit by splitting image? Also, where's our flag mage? <laughs> yes. Just intellect? Wait, let me... This might be the early from here. Five? That is also five, so I guess intellect, yes. Oh. Yeah. I don't know about this. Seems like a poor matchup. He's getting a pretty good start on on uh, the aggressive side of things, and this deck or deck is also not very good at playing the board, which is something that the more aggressive mages have been struggling with, as strong as they are with. Um, okay. As strong as they are with um, tempo spells and then uh, direct damage, the board control is sometimes a bit lackluster. But that yeah. was definitely an important one. Now we have Mirror Entity out. Yeah, I mean, with 4 mana, he's probably not going to produce anything too huge. Played it on Vaporize and Flame War. Yeah, Koboldak, he's not very good. Played that pretty well. I think he has a good idea of what kind of secrets are in this deck, too. Yeah, but even then, he, he pretty much played around 
every possible secret anyways. Wow. Not bad. It's gonna be a good shutter walk later if we get there. But yeah, the quest was done pretty quick. So here's a quest. Okay, I was about to say, do you have a two-minute play or did you also just forget to push the button? Yeah, two-minute play always. So... Best totem available. A flag match in the house. We're gonna just subject. Well, the question is subject or cloud print, and I think right now it's subject. Because then we have Flag Mage, mm -hmm. Secret, as a board clear next turn. Which I think we really need. Yeah. Um, you surprised me. How you <laughs> the Thunder King. Crazy. Yeah, I, I very rarely see him. Yeah, you don't see him a lot. That's true, there's rare heroes. Madame Azul also. Yeah. There's some rare heroes these days. Alright, so he has a very aggressive package with the whole thing. It makes, makes sense. That was also a pretty poor splitting image because the thing was at one health already. Which, once again, well played oh, uh, from the boy, approach there. <laughs> Katrina Muerte, I think... I mean, Katrina Muerte is actually not that good it's in this case. Really, yeah, it's a good card. Because it's so, uh, usually going to give 1-1s. One the problem is just... I can clear the board, it's just not going to be very nice. Wait, can I even mana-wise? No, I can't. No, we can't clear the full board. Well, if I could play the Cloud Prince on the same turn, then I could. Mm, but... Yeah. So that's your secret, um, is it Flag my secret? I think so. It's weird, right? Is yeah. it, is it, uh, wait, Flag Mage deals to enemy, right? Yeah. So Flag Mage, um, spell, the secret, secret, keeper, secret, right? Secret Keeper, Flag Mage, secret? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's do that. Secret Keeper, Black Mage, Secret, the- Oh, that the Wasp really... also survives, actually. Yeah, I... is it Counterspell? Or Mirror it's a Mirror Entity spell, but a Counterspell, I think it is... Pro probably the strongest one. Huh? Actually, it might be Mirror Entity, because what what do we expect in terms of spells? I think it's Mirror Entity, because we need to fight for the board right now. As much as the stack is not necessarily one to do that. A lot of lackeys. Mirror SD is not necessarily good in this match. That's matchup. true. Best, I think kind of best we can hope for is almost like um, <clears throat> a flesh shaper or a life drinker. <laughs> 10 health. And the other question is, did we actually want the secret to proc? Because now we don't have setup for for Cloud Prince. Right. But also, it doesn't even matter that much because we. No, no, actually, with Frostbolt and the dude. Yeah, no, no. There's no way for us to have actually done that successfully uh, to kill Katrina Muerte, taking into account the Titanic Lackey, which we didn't know about at the time. I mean. Frost bolting her seems reasonable, so at least we can't be hit yeah. by her. Mm -hmm. um, and if we don't play Cloud Prince, I guess it's just. It's just Sorcerers, yeah. I guess? Sorcerers, you can Frost, frost bolt. bolt. And then play two secrets? Play presumably two secrets, yes. Why not, right? Um, no one plays one Spellbender, mm. which is nice. Um. That's that's the main reason for Spellbender, by the way, because people don't expect Spellbender. <laughs> There's no reason for Spellbender. Don't do it. Play we, counter spell. We could have gotten the mutate, you know. Would have gotten counter spell here. Right, box slasher. Box slasher is a very interesting pick. Uh, I kind of like it. I really kind of like it. Well, this is lost. This is really lost now. I mean, we can definitely kill the Katrina for once, but you know, that doesn't really. Yeah. Doesn't really doesn't save do much. us per se. Doesn't stop all the rest. All the rest from coming down. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is. gonna be GG's. Not Shutter Walk time, but Life Drinker wins. That also seems to win. Yeah. You wanna try again? Let's do another one, man. Let's yeah. See what we can do. Alright, maybe we'll get that maybe we get that secret on secret violence here. I mean we have the better secrets. We might not have the better secret built. 
You know, I'm not saying we have the better deck, I'm just saying we have the better individual secrets. Yeah. Mr. Jenkins in the house. See, the problem is, see? with Leroy, you have to be in a position where you can actually be near yeah. lethal in the first place. Eh. It's okay. Generally speaking, I like just playing secrets even if they're somewhat badly timed with yeah. the secret keeper. They're free, they're free. Because that's one extra damage every turn that makes it harder to kill the secret yeah. keeper itself. Interesting. Mm, some taunt isn't terrible. We just Frostball pass. Frostball pass. Next turn. Hero power spell. and hit in the face. Because I like keeping yeah. Zero Keeper alive, I think. I'm not expecting too much counter spell value right right off the top. So if I mean I mean high end we counter our master's call. Yes. Yeah, right right now, yes. Uh of course we'll be we'll Which is of course still really strong, but Okay, no, that's that's not even bad. That also allows us to not necessarily need the hero power right now. Although I think I like it though, it's really board, right? Yes. No big inclination to believe Explosive Trap is on hand. Since you played Contender. How do we feel about Sunraver? 2 3 Sunraver. How do we feel about that? Tempo, right? I mean, we don't have to. We. Got... I guess it doesn't make much of a difference depending the draw we play Secret and that next turn anyway. Yeah, I, th I think it's a little more stable. Uh huh. It's snipe anyways. <laughs> oh, you're right. Very important. Secret Keeper. Whenever a secret is played. Yeah, that's true. People forget that sometimes. So, snipe away, my man. My dude. It was not snipe, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, I should have attacked first because... Oh, no, wait. Uh, yeah, it, that's that's the dilemma, not. right? Do you test explosive? Do you test... So now you play Mask Tender first because freezing. Yes, for sure. Or Mr. As a matter of fact, I don't hate. Explosive. Nice spot. No, but I think it was still correct because I keep the. Uh, the secret keeper alive, yeah. The that's that's the that's the bit of a dilemma you have there. Right? Uh, see, I would have liked freezing, because I totally would have played it. Yeah, that's it again. That's a good counter spell. I would have totally played the. Um, oh, way too walk in it. The five mana mask yeah. contender. Also, by the way. Just as a side note, Spellbender would have been equally powerful in that situation because it would not have overkilled. Yeah, way too walk in it, into a counter spell on that. Yeah, no, that was a waste of turn completely. Damn. Also, old school build. Bated Arrow is generally yeah. not in the newer is list. Is not a better way to, to, to test for this dude? You waste your turn, 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 turn. I mean, the question is, Rough. what other spells do you have on hand? Right? Yeah. But I mean... Oh, wait, is this, is this Highlander? Could be. It's a good chance it is. Because... Again, Baited Arrow is not very popular in the secret. So far, build. so far, it, it definitely appears to be. And we haven't seen any dupes and unpopular secret. Unpopular. You gonna like end your versus... turn or just? Or did you did you just rage quit? <laughs> Happens. Mr. Buyara. Buyara. Hmm. Boy. Ara. <laughs> Boy Ara. Boy Ara. <laughs> No, I think it's Booyah Ra, as in, Booyah Ra. As in they're celebrating the sun Might god. Might be Boyara. I don't know. Subject! For Subject the draw! Type. Not the game kind of draw, but the, no, the drawing way. cards. We don't take draw. draws, we take W's. But and subject, L's. And, yeah, we also take L's sometimes. So, uh, <laughs> we throw off smart. Your L's. opponent left! Easy wins. All right, so uh, integral counter spell there. Yeah, the, lost the game. Correct. Um, that, I yeah, choose that, to believe. That, that, I, I think so. That was huge. I mean, that was not a good play by him. I don't. Th maybe you have a good reason to suspect that it's counter spell. You know, we're playing tempo. What do you expect from tempo? You know, it's a mirror entity. Explosive runes is not standard. You expect counter spell. It's most likely one there. Mm. 
kind of a questionable play call there by him. But maybe didn't have anything else that happened. So first, first one we kind of got exposed a little bit in the strongest weakness, no, the, not the strongest weakness, the, more, the, the biggest weakness of this deck. Yeah, we don't do well against board centric yeah. aggressive decks, which ap- it appears to be board board control. And the quest shaman, though not being uh, an inherently aggressive design. Can go very very wide with the, if the lackey package is correct. I think this also shows probably why this deck, as mm-hmm. you said before, I believe, is not that popular. It's because other aggro decks beat it, and so yeah. the, if you have an aggro deck that can't beat any other other aggro decks, then yeah. you might as well play board, another aggro deck. Board centric aggro to mid range decks will beat it out with tempo, and uh, high end control decks like Warrior just out life gain it. Yeah, so so there's not really a there doesn't seem to really be a place place for right now. See the times that the secret temple mage used to be at its strongest and a, a super key card, which uh, is mentioned way too little, explosive runes. Um, yeah, because that was that was a temple swing and that was direct damage. I I do think uh, there might be an experimentation with a little bit of a slower variety of this as well. Mm-hmm. You have flame ward to take care of the board. You have frost novas, and flag mage also isn't inherently a fast card. There might be worthy considerations of just building yeah. a slower mid-range-ish secret mage, maybe. Yeah, there's very much two tiers of mage secrets. There's the slow control, there's the control secrets, like like your um, your flame ward. Yeah, flame ward, vaporize. Vaporize, and there's the there's the aggro. Ice barrier. Even spellbender to a degree in that one, even though counterspell is still more reliable, but counterspell, mirror entity are the more the more aggressive um, uh, facing ones, as well as splitting image in this case. Splitting image is huge, by the way, in uh, the Condor's Calling varieties of, of certain yeah. Condor's Calling varieties of Mage because you'll have like big primarily stuff. big stuff on the board and like getting one extra big yeah. thing is huge. Now, is there a spot for controlling Secret Mage in the current Mage meta? Probably not, because there's so much late game value and so much control yeah. in Mage already that this doesn't that, that doesn't really seem seem realistic right now. The problem is if you're Trying to go control-ish, you might as well commit to it and play the full-on control yeah. mage. And that's probably the thing. Again, I don't hate the idea of a mid-range secret mage, but it's probably gonna be outpaced yeah. by the regular and outvalued by the regular control. Yeah, doesn't doesn't seem to be be uh, quite on it. But you're welcome to try out, and so are you people uh, out there. If you if you made some experiences, you built some, your own list. Uh, Feel free to discuss them in the comments of this video and our Discord server. Link to that, by the way, is in the description. You should go join that because it's free for everyone, and we like to have fun there. We got over a hundred members. Just we're just hanging out, talking Hearthstone, um, trying to get better at the game together, and they're coming up with cool ideas like that. So go ahead and join that server, and we'll be uh, hopefully um, appreciating to uh, see you arrival there soon. So until then. Drop a like on the video and uh, subscribe to Trash Can TV because we're doing a lot of stuff and we've got a lot of Hearthstone, a lot of Hearthstone content to come up here in these in these coming weeks and months. So JJ, that's it. That's it.